Hi guys, welcome to this final review about the Gerber Dime Multi Tool. It's, yeah, I have it in red. It's available in different colors for very different price. I don't understand why price is so different, but I have bought the red one and price is still about the same. So I'm, yeah, I've paid about $15 and I'm comparing it to the Victorinox Swiss Army classic pocket knife. I had this for a couple of years and I'm comparing it, uh, it with this one. It's about the same price. It has similar size. It's not exactly same size, but the similar price, similar size, similar functionality. So so here I'm having both tools side by side. As you see the Gerber is a little bit more bulky. It's more it has definitely more weight. I think it's about three times the weight as the Victorinox has. The Victorinox has this toothpick and a nice tweezer. Here the toothpick. It has nice blades and really sharp blades you have to tell you have to be careful with this thing so um, you have to be careful what you do also this sanding thing it's not super sharp but it's still useful and it has this um, screwdrivers and what's also awesome and what makes it unique is this scissors and this thing is really 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 sharp um, and works 100% uh, uh, yeah this is awesome you can cut straight into paper cardboard whatever cut rope so this is an awesome tool but it has no pliers that's the reason why I bought this so you open this and that you have really nice pliers you can even cut uh, yeah thin wire or cord or something and you can tighten uh, screws and so those things so it's it's really nice but it's it's more bulky definitely here we have the things like the scissors if you compare to the Victorinox this is like a toy it will cut but the cut like in a paper it's not like straight it lost uh, it's more like yeah you can you can cut it but it's not like a straight really nice professional cut but it will cut so on the other side we have two things like the uh, screwdrivers that's a, a, a right a, a, quite a stu sturdy white screwdriver really tough um, good for tough jobs here we have a uh, thing which you can use as a Phillips screwdriver and that really uh, works for small screws even really good I have been using that works really good this is a sanding thing which is a toy this is really a toy it's actually useless I don't know why they did this here just to tell um, everybody yeah we have a we have a um, like a, a, a file um, like sanding option but it's it, it it's absolutely useless it's uh it, it does nothing i mean you can't do something for your uh, fingernails or something like that it's it's useless what i'm uh, rarely have been using is this blade also this blade is more it's a little bit dirty i'm sorry <laughs> i've used it out in the woods and didn't clean um it's not super sharp it works you can cut like a rope or something like this but it's uh, far away from the sharpness of the victorinox the good thing is i mean if you cut yourself you won't hurt yourself like you would with this so with this knife i mean this is not a toy you can get seriously hurt with this one it's more like a toy so i mean 
it's not only a disadvantage when it cuts less it adds also a little bit of safety let's say if you give this to a teenager uh, or yeah so some people uh, do that and so it uh, means that they cannot get hurt as much as with the Victorinox. The thing which I have been using the most is this knife. I didn't know until I bought this. I have never seen such a knife, but I heard a lot of people are using this. And I've been using this to open letters and cardboard boxes and it works awesome. Even when it's not super sharp, also with this thing, it's hard to hurt yourself. If you don't put too much strings but you can easily open a box so this is the thing which I'm using now to open 90% or 99% of the boxes that's working really good I haven't been using this to open uh, like a bottle of beer but I guess it's working and this thing is yeah that's a tweezer and it works yeah more or less about the same as the Victorinox the thing is only it has this silly edge here I don't know why they make it made it so big because it's uh, when you see that it's higher than the rest so when you put it in the pocket you think it would hurt your pocket but it did not unfortunately I didn't do um, I didn't sand it for a while and just put it in my pocket and it didn't hurt the pocket so none of my pockets uh, were damaged because of this but I actually were expecting this so now as today I've been sanding this thing a little bit so it's not as sharp anymore but I'm I have no clue why they did it as sharp as uh, it is and yeah apart from that I've been using that for two months I have been wearing this in my pocket for two months and it still looks good I'm using it on a daily basis. it has a few scratches a little bit of color came off but it's still quite beautiful that doesn't look really bad I still like it and people are really amazed or uh, surprised by the functionality every time I open this and use this and people are around they are quite surprised and amazed by this thing because not a lot of people uh, have seen something like this this is the good thing the bad thing yeah I mean as I told you most of these things look more like it or yeah or actually more a toy than a professional tool but they still work and so uh, because they are not so sharp you cannot get hurt as much so I still like it what I don't like is that these things uh, are hard to get out so uh, compared to this one so th that's super easy to get get them out and that means your fingernails uh, won't get hurt by this one but if you open this um, yeah or especially I think these are the worst here on the side yeah they are super hard to to get out the screwdrivers and yeah if you get them out push them back and you check your fingernails in a lot of cases your fingernails will uh, get hurt I mean you have to uh, use a sanding tool or like a, like a file to um, correct this again because they um, yeah I cannot uh, explain this in English but uh, they 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 have like cuts or like uh, they are bent or yeah you have sometimes really to um do something with your fingernails i mean if your fingernails are super strong then uh, it will probably work but if you have fine or sensitive fingernails it's gonna be a struggle with this what i was thinking or what i was fearing with this because this is much lighter this is much more heavy and i was expecting 
that it would feel like something having always in the pocket and something like uh, disturbing or bothering me from morning till evening and it bothered me maybe one or two days after that I got used to the weight of this so it's no problem uh, to carry um, the weight of this all the time in your pocket so that's not the problem uh, uh, also the, the size and the weight it's of course it's at a limit but it still works and you have the advantage that you have more tools uh, than with this one of course this has also some advantages but I think I will go with the Gerber dime still because it has more capabilities and even when the um, blades are not super sharp I can use them and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that so I think it's a good buy even when it has some bad reviews but there are always people expecting more I mean it's $15 what can you expect for $15 I think it but it's 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 a still a decent value I'm definitely not complaining so I will put down the link of these both tools in the description so you can order them on Amazon for cheap price right away of course it's an affiliate link but uh, it's the same price for you and if you use the links it's a small appreciation that uh, for doing me uh, this video so anyway I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time